हेलो एवरी वन द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज क्लास इज बेसिकली रेलिवेंट टू चैप्टर नंबर वन ए एस लेवल इकोनॉमिक्स एंड यू कैन सी द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टूडेज क्लास ऑन द स्क्रीन राइट नाउ ऑब्जेक्टिव आई वुड बी डिस्कसिंग टूडे द टाइप्स ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विस दैट इंक्लूड पब्लिक गुड्स प्राइवेट गुड्स क्यू साई पब्लिक गुड्स मेरिट डी मेरिट एंड फ्री गुड्स एंड एट दैन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम रेलिवेंट एम सी क्यूज एज वेल and i will also let you know some important questions that basically come from this chapter and this topic and starting with public good public good is basically the good that has mainly three features non excludability non rivalry and non rejectability non excludability means every person is allowed to use the product we cannot exclude anyone from using the good like national highway public parks and uh, defense system like forces arm forces they are basically non excludable they provide services to everyone they don't exclude anyone from using providing the service and then is non rivalry non rivalry is basically if the product is used by one person then what happens is the benefits to all others who were already using the product will not diminish uh, they will be getting exactly same benefit as well right for example if you use uh, basically national highway then definitely you can benefit from it but others who were already using national highway their benefits will not be reduced and then comes non rejectability if government has basically decided to provide the product then no one can reject the product uh, for example if government decided to construct an airport sea port or it has basically decided to construct a flood defense then no one has the authority to accept or reject it you have to basically accept it in all cases right non rejectability means you have no option to reject the product and on the other hand private goods are those goods which are uh, generally provided by the private sector and they are basically excludable their features include excludability and then definitely rivalry and then is rejectability rejectability okay so these are the features of private goods excludability means you have the option to exclude someone from using the product for example your personal laptop you can you can refuse others to use your your product your personal car is also a private good and you will not allow someone to use your product you can exclude someone using it similarly if you allow someone then there will be a rivalry means you cannot benefit from that good for the timing for example if you allow someone to use your personal car then definitely you will not be able to use your car for that time period for which it is a, it is basically in the possession of another person so it means rivalry is if it is provided to someone then benefits for others will decrease and rejectability means you have the option to accept or reject the product for example when we go to the market to purchase some per product like personal car we are talking about car if we want to purchase it then definitely what will happen is we have the opportunity to accept or reject the reje reject the car so that's why we select the one the, which we think is best for us right so we have the option to accept or reject the product so you can take example of personal car car for all these uh, three features of private goods personal car is excludable means you are not bound to allow everyone to use the product you can exclude someone using it and rivalry is basically if you provide it to someone then you cannot benefit from it for the time being and rejectability is if you want to purchase it you have the option to buy it and if you don't then you can reject it Uh, as i told you earlier about this about the example of private car sometimes goods are basically the mixture of public and private goods these are also known as mixed goods but technically we call them quasi public good so quasi public goods are those goods that are basically partially non excludable non excludable and partially non rival partially non rival and partially they are non rejectable so if they have the features of some of the features of public goods and some of the features of 
private goods or they have partially the features of public goods and partially the features of private goods then they are known as qsi public goods for example if we talk about motorway motorway is qsi public good because on motorway like everyone is not to not allowed to go there certain type of vehicles can basically travel there and there are certain timings for different people who can go there and uh, travel on the motorway and like for example motorcyclists cyclists are not allowed to go to the mot motorway when it happens then definitely it is not completely non excludable it is partial partially non excludable and partially definitely excludable because some people are excluded from using this basically motorway and the same is the case with like wifi open wifi if we talk about open wifi open wifi seems to be a public good but it is actually a qsi public good because it has partially non part it is partially non rival what does this mean for example if it is once overcrowded uh, as many people want to join open wifi they can join it but what happens is when it is overcrowded definitely the people who were already using it their benefits will decrease so rivalry is basically when uh, you uh, when it is used by one person then benefits for others will diminish or decrease and then comes merit goods and merit goods mean the goods that are not only beneficial for the consumers but also for the society and third party as well and third party is definitely a person who is neither producer nor consumer and generally merit goods provide positive externalities this is the technical term you must keep in mind positive externality positive externality is basically the positive impact on the third party for example education for example healthcare and for example vaccination uh, and plantation these are basically plantation these are merit goods because they not only benefit to the consumers but also to the third party and society as well for example if one person gets education then definitely it will not only benefit him but he can benefit to the overall society in multiple ways healthcare and vaccination is definitely a good source of creating positive externalities and benefiting the third party for example uh, if someone gets vaccinated against corona virus then it means he is stopping that corona virus spread to the other people so it means he is causing benefit to the third party plantation definitely if you plant a tree then the uh, shade the uh, fresh air or the beautiful environment or the oxygen it creates basically is not rejectable or non rival basically non excludable and it can its benefit can be extended to many people at zero cost so merit goods are generally the goods which provide benefits more than the people themselves perceive so they benefit to a lot of other people who are not directly involved in production and consumption of that good so merit goods are basically the goods that uh, benefit not only to the consumer but also to the third party as well demerit goods are uh, basically opposite to the merit goods and they create negative externalities negative externality like pollution or basically cost to the third party for example uh, for example like smoke of factory will cause uh, smoke of factory will definitely cause uh, pollution in the environment and it will create negative externality uh, this smoke is not only harmful for the producers and consumers but also it is harmful for the third party because everyone facing smoke will be facing health issues so this is causing negative externality so demerit goods are the ones like cigarettes uh, smoke of the factory any kind of pollution like noise pollution near to to an airport is basically again causing uh, a negative externality and it is a demerit good okay so then is free goods free goods are the goods which have no opportunity cost mean uh, if we are basically using this product it mean we are sacrificing nothing and these are basically gifted by god they are naturally provided by by the nature basically and we need not to purchase them from from the market they have don't have any kind of market to purchase free goods like fresh air sunlight and fresh water from the river that river or lake that is basically a free good that is that has no opportunity cost 
This, this is also known as non-economic good because we are not involved in any kind of economic activity for getting uh, or producing or basically purchasing or getting the free good. Uh, so, I have given the examples of fresh air. Fresh air is basically provided by the nature and we are not purchasing it from the market. Okay, so now coming to some important questions, MCQ questions relevant to these topics and let us have a look what kind of questions are basically asked by the examiners in this, top, in this topic and you can see some important questions on the screen right now and furthermore I also suggest you to get try to get this book. This book has been published and it is available in the market and it has been published till June 2021. The latest paper used in this book is 2021, June 2021. So, it is the latest version and you can purchase it from the book, from the market and you can purchase online as well. I will give you the link in description. The name of this book is AS Level Economics Topical Paper 1. Topical Paper 1 contains a lot of topical questions arranged topically and every question has been explained at the end of each book, each topic and at the end of the book you will get yearly papers as well so that you can practice complete papers once you are done with the entire syllabus. Okay, so coming to the questions now, question is what is a merit good? Merit good is basically the good that not only provides benefit to the consumers but to the third party as well. So option D is correct answer, a good or service which has greater value than individual recognized, mean they have benefits more than the consumers generally perceive. Question number 19 is a good is more likely to be supplied by the government ra rather than a private company if it is non-excludable and non-rival. This is the feature of public good and public goods are non-excludable -exclud and non-rival. Okay, so private company will not pr provide such goods because private company has the aim to maximize profit and when it has prof uh, ma profit maximization is the aim of public company then it will not provide the goods which are non-excludable mean everyone can use them without paying for them and non-rival mean benefits can be extended to many people. So, such goods are not provided by the private companies only government generally provided such goods. And next question is non-rivalry is a characteristic of which type of good? So, non-rivalry is basically the feature of a public good. So, option D is correct answer public goods are non-excludable, non-rival and non-rejectable. And so this is it. See you in the next class inshallah. Thank you.